What's up, HC Cruises? Welcome back to the channel. So today is March 26th, and today or tomorrow, Carnival is going to make an announcement on whether they are going to push the suspension of service back even farther. And I'm going to talk to you guys about that right now to let you know what I think is going to happen. Okay guys, so before we get into today's episode, make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like this episode, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below as well. Now, on to the topic. Uh, Carnival Cruise Lines, obviously, along with all the other cruise lines, suspended service here in the United States for 30 days because of, well, we know what's going around. I can't say the words uh, because YouTube will strike me down if I say the words. Yeah, but we know. So... 30 days of suspension is up on April 9th. Now, a bunch of cruise lines have decided to push that back farther. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of travel concerns, and there's also the profit margin. You got to think about, is it worth running these ships with everyone canceling? Um, there have, before the 30 days, there were ships that were going out with 25% capacity. And when you think about the cost of fuel and the amount that these people paid and you know, 75% of the ships being empty, uh, it's probably better to push it back anyways because people are probably still going to be canceling um, these last-minute cruises anyways. But my thoughts are that Carnival Cruise Lines today or tomorrow is going to make that announcement that they are going to push it back. And I think they are not only going to push it back through all of April, but part of May, and here is why. Um, if you go to Carnival.com and try to search for cruises, they have pulled all of April's and part of May's cruises off the site. You can't even book them anymore. So that's a pretty big um, hint towards the fact that they're going to pull those off. Like I said, also with everyone canceling these cruises, they're freaking out over what's going on. Um, the chances are these ships are not booked enough to sail. The... Uh, Crew members are still on board all these ships that are docked around the world, um, not sailing, and they are getting paid. They're still working, but they are basically in their house arrest on the ship. Um, and I've talked to a bunch of them. They're doing great. Um, no worries about what's going on with where they're at. Everyone is good. But as far as it goes with the whole cancellations, um, I'm just going to say don't cancel your cruises just yet if you haven't because I think they're going to do it for you. And if they do, you're not only going to get all of your money back as in future cruise credit, but you will probably also get a you know, nice onboard credit for your next cruise as well. Um, and they're going to offer that anyways. If you cancel too soon, um, chances are you're not going to get as good of a deal as if you stay booked. And also with all the calls coming in, it is going to be hard to cancel anyways right now. It's hard to get through to Carnival Cruise Lines or any other cruise lines to that matter. But guys, I want you to leave your comments below what you think. Uh, I'll respond to everything you guys leave. Uh, and definitely, you know, just leave those comments. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm out for this video. Take care, guys. You have a wonderful day.